Season 3 of Doom Patrol will see the return of our favorite villainous narrator, Alan Tudyk's Mr. Nobody. But he won't be alone. Let's talk about his chaotic caravan of anarchist artists, the Brotherhood of Dada. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to Comic Book Nostalgia. I'm CB Nostalgia, and let's talk about Doom Patrol. When we last saw Mr. Nobody, he had been trapped in a painting and seemed to be, well, neutralized by the Doom Patrol team. But as season two unfolded, it was revealed that Eric Morden was no longer trapped in the white space and had been re-released upon the DC Universe. Well, at least this Earth. Since then, we've gotten multiple reports of several members of the Brotherhood of Dada have been added to the cast of the upcoming season. So we thought this would be a great time to talk about this rather odd and surely unique group of villains. But first, I wanted to remind everybody, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and ring the bell for all the updates. Also, don't forget about this 2021 contest. We're giving away a PlayStation 5. All you have to do to get in on this contest is be a subscriber and leave some sort of comment. Now, Mr. Nobody and his Brotherhood of Dada have been around in the comics for about three decades. They made their first appearance in Doom Patrol Volume 2, number 26, in 1989 under the legendary Grant Morrison. I guess before we dig into these villains, and I use that term lightly, we should first probably quickly review what the term Dada means. Now, Dada is a reference to an art movement and was formed after the First World War in Zurich in a negative reaction to the horrors and follies of war. The art, poetry, and performance produced by Dada artists is often satirical and nonsensical in nature, just like Mr. Nobody. Probably the most well-known Dada artist was Salvador Dali, but others include Max Ernst, Man Ray, and Hannah Hotch. Now on to the Brotherhood. History of the group reaches pretty far back in the comics and ties nicely to the Doom Patrol show. Eric Morden was a scientist who, years ago, wished to join the Brotherhood of Evil. But after an unfortunate incident in which Morden double-crossed the Brotherhood, he was forced to flee for his life. Eventually, just like in the show, Morden settled in Paraguay, where he fell in with Dr. Bruckner, a former Nazi war criminal, and agreed to become a guinea pig for one of his experiments. This is the same horrific transformation that turned him into Mr. Nobody. Now, in the comics, once he became Mr. Nobody, he decided to form his own super team with four outcasts he had discovered in his travels across the world. He created a new brotherhood, one not so dedicated to evil, which he considered somewhat of an outdated concept, but to celebrate the absolute absurdity of life and he called his anarchist group the Brotherhood of Dada. In the comics, the Brotherhood's goal was basically to bring chaos to the world. Their first mission actually took them to the vaults of Mr. Horst Eisenham, a German collector of bizarre artifacts and very, very weird relics. Now, this is where it gets fairly familiar to the show. From him, they actually found a mystical painting that could devour almost anything that beheld it. Taking the painting to the base of the Eiffel Tower, the Brotherhood unleashed the painting's particular hunger and absorbed the complete city of Paris. Kind of sounds familiar, huh? Now doing this, the Brotherhood actually accidentally awoke Extinction, the fifth horseman of the apocalypse, who had been trapped inside the painting since it was created. At this point in the comics, they asked the Doom Patrol for help, and I suspect this might actually be what happens in the show, but we'll have to wait and see. Now, through their combined efforts, they did manage to take down Extinction. The painting eventually vomited up Paris, the Doom Patrol escaped, and the Brotherhood was trapped. Pretty much everybody, but Mr. Nobody, was absolutely perfectly happy being trapped inside the painting. Now, several members of the Brotherhood, at least his first incarnation, are coming to Season 3. And this makes me pretty sure this is the version we're going to get. Now, we obviously already know Mr. Nobody, Eric Morden. I mean, what can we say? Season 1 was special, and we are all, well, rather well acquainted with his chaotic machinations, as well as his overall loathing for Niles Calder. There really is not a lot of explanation required for this version if you're following the show, and Alec Tudyk brings him to life wonderfully. 
Now the other members of the Dada are the Fog, Frenzy, Sleepwalk, and the Quiz. Now the first member, Brian Shelley, aka the Fog, gained his ability to turn into a psychedelic death cloud capable of absorbing people. The people he absorbed can actually still communicate, and eventually the voices inside his own cloud start to drive him mad. In the comics, he actually absorbs Crazy Jane. Bad idea. And her multiple personalities eventually traumatize the people inside him and the fog vomits her out. Now the second member, Frenzy, whose real name is Lloyd Malcolm Jefferson, was an illiterate man whose mother had abandoned him. He wore a garish outfit covered with symbols, a top hat with a green feather, and two bicycle wheels on his back. Now his power is he can turn into a living cyclone. But this is very similar to the tramp in sort of comedic effect. The fourth member is Sleepwalk, aka Holly McKenzie. She was a British girl who has tremendous strength, but only when she's asleep. In the comics, to avoid waking, she takes sleeping pills and wears headphones playing Barry Manilow. She also has a rather unique look in the comics with outlines of two faces painted around her eyes. Now the final member is The Quiz. And The Quiz is a Japanese woman with a fear of dirt. That's right, dirt. She also has every single power you have never thought of. To make her lose a power, you just have to think of it. Now, it's always been pretty unclear how long this power loss lasts or even if it's permanent, but it's still pretty interesting. Now, in the comics, because of her fear of dirt, she actually wore a long gown, gas mask, and was decorated with question marks all over her outfit, very similar to the Riddler. Some of the powers that we saw in the comics were flight, mimicking appearance, turning people into glass, turning back time, materialization. She even wants to turn people into a toilet filled with flowers. Now obviously, Mr. Nobody and his Brotherhood of Dada are some of the weirdest villains you've ever heard of, and they should fit perfectly on this show. The team on the show has done a darn good job manifesting rather weird villains visually, so I really, really can't wait to see what they bring us. As we said, Mr. Nobody formed this group of artisan anarchists after a falling out with the Brotherhood of Evil. And in the second part of this, we're going to dig into that a little bit. Because guess what? The Brotherhood of Dada is not the only Brotherhood we see getting cast up for Season 3. So, what do you guys think of Mr. Nobody and his Brotherhood of Dada? And be honest, were you aware of the Dada art movement before this video? Sound off in the comments below. If you like this video, make sure you press like, click subscribe, and if you don't ring that bell, you won't get any updates. Peace.